Welcome, 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 soul family. How is everybody doing? Hope everybody's enjoying their day, their night, their evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. This is the general message for the collective. So remember to take what resonates and to leave what does not. Um, if it doesn't apply, simply let it fly, collective, okay? Again, thanks for tapping in. We're going to get right into the message. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the divine cosmic gods and goddesses today? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Um, if any of this resonates with you, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Thumbs up or something. <laughs> All right, yeah. I mean, I just feel like, uh, well, yeah, I am in my north node, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel good today. For some reason, I just feel extraordinarily happy today, you know? Well, I am thankful for every day, but today I just feel extraordinarily happy. So I'm happy to be here to do this reading for you guys. Okay. So with that being said, Holy Spirit is here. Ooh. All right. Somebody needs somebody to tell the truth about a karmic relationship. Okay. Uh, somebody ain't being honest with somebody. Somebody needs to tell the truth. Okay. Wow. But somebody need to get over some shit. They, they, you know, they have been tried and tried and tried by this person several times. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, wow. And if you're in a karmic relationship, there ain't been nothing but a trail of trouble for you. But you're going to get over it. As soon as somebody speaks some type of truth here. The fact is that they don't want you to go nowhere. They don't want you to change. If you hurt, they don't want you to heal. This is, you know, uh, just a karmic that is a very immature karmic here that I'm picking up on. All right. Yeah, set some boundaries with this person. Okay, because somebody think they can walk all the fuck over somebody here. And I don't know why they think they can do that collective, but not my collective. I don't think so. So, Holy Spirit, what is this person hiding? First of all, let's see what they want to say to you, collective. What do they want to say to my collective? What's really going on with this person? Shit, you know, if I'm on the deck, they'll be back if they don't left and shit. Okay, they'll just speak some type of truth to you, whatever. But you're going to get over whatever this trouble is. Oh, shit. Somebody headed for a karmic relationship. They headed right down the path for a karmic ass relationship. Yeah, somebody need to tell you the truth. Set some boundaries and shit. Make make this person tell you the truth, okay? Like I don't know how you can make somebody tell you the truth. I don't know those ways if you got you know, if you got skills, it's a way you can make somebody tell you the truth. The spirit say, Yeah, there's ways to make somebody tell you the truth. What's here, Holy Spirit? We got set down this here in a karmic relationship. Yeah, somebody is not being honest with you here. Somebody here is a liar and they're trying to cover it up. They need to tell you the truth. Okay, your intuition is telling you to set some boundaries here. Okay, and you know this person is like stopping you from moving forward, moving forward stopping you from making the necessary changes you want to uh, make in your life here. Okay, um, Spirit says stop ignoring the red flags and set some boundaries with this person. Do not let this person walk over you. This person just doesn't want you to go anywhere and make it in life or whatever, uh, succeed at anything. Okay, they need to communicate the truth to you. That's what Spirit said. You know, you need to um, tell this person, you know what I'm saying, like... Well, I feel like, you know, that this isn't working out. So maybe I should go the other way. You know what I mean? Like, shit, set some boundaries or, you know, like, oh, well, I'm going to see how things are going to work out. Just don't commit yourself totally to this person or to this energy here is what I'm getting here. Because this person needs to tell you some type of truth about something here. So, you know, spirit is just, you know, like, wising you up to say, you know, don't uh, ignore the uh, red flags right now because you, you, you'll, you'll, you'll regret it later. Looking back, you regret it that you didn't set no boundaries with this person here. I mean, shoot, you can be, you know, talking to this person, but I mean, I'm picking up on this is this is you're, you're headed for a karmic relationship because this person's a liar. They need to tell you the truth about something. They need to talk, you know, what I'm saying like make them tell you the truth. Spirit said there is a way you can get the truth about this person. Okay, so what else is here, Holy Spirit? 
Yeah, this person is covering up something they had and something from me. They need to tell you the truth. I don't know if this is a friend, family member, there's somebody you're social with right now, you know, or if it's somebody you could be, you know, um, committed to, or if you're ready to be committed with, you know what I'm saying? Like, they need to speak some type of truth here. You know, where the fuck they've been and everything else. Yeah, you need to take caution here. This person, <laughs> wow, you need to find out more information about this person. Okay, because you are right on the trail of a karmic relationship. Okay, you could be an earth sign. You could be a Taurus, uh, uh, Capricorn, or Virgo here that I could be speaking to. Or you could be dealing with one. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Let's see. You need to set some boundaries. You could be any sign, though. Let's see what the hidden truth is on this person. What they had in spirit. What they had and what, what do my collective need to know about this person? What What is they not saying to my person that they need to say my collective here? What is that person not saying to them? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Let me shuffle like this. Okay. I already got a prayer in, you know, um, for myself as well as you collective. Okay, so what is this person hiding, Holy Spirit? They they in the process of changing, you know. Um, they becoming a better person, but they still hiding something from you. What else is here? Hmm. So set some boundaries, because this person hasn't completely healed from something yet you know it's just a little bit more information you need to find out about this person okay um the spirit said when you see red flags or you notice red flags or your intuition is speaking to you you need to listen okay so you won't um <laughs> be headed down the wrong, wrong path with this person here all right because this is a karmic relationship i'm picking up on that you need to set boundaries here you want this person to love you unconditionally. You do. You do. And for some of you guys, you believe this person has become a better person. But I don't know. It's something that they're hiding from you. They're masking. Okay. Something from you. Say, I look for you everywhere. I look for you everywhere. Yeah. It come right up under the caution sign. You better be looking for them caution signs everywhere. Okay. Don't ignore the red flags. Okay. I look for you everywhere. That means finding out more information about this person. Look everywhere. Okay? Look everywhere. You can to find out something about this person that you're dealing with. Because Spirit said you're on the trail to a dang gonna come relationship. This person needs to tell you the truth. What else is here? Holy Spirit. It says I love you. Okay. So what's, what's I love you here, Spirit? I remember every detail of that day. One more. It's the energy I'm picking up on collecting. Mm -hmm. I bury myself in work to forget you. Hmm. So uh, what I'm getting is that This person needs to tell you the truth. And if they tell you the truth and, and come honest with you, then there is a possibility that this could blossom into something beautiful. Okay. But right now, this person isn't, you know, being very open and honest with you right now. There's some details about this person you need to find out. Okay. This person may keep themselves busy. You know what I'm saying? Like, always busy. Like, you know, bearing yourself in work or and other things that, you know, things they like to do or whatever you know uh, is what I'm picking up on but yeah you need to be looking everywhere for information about this person because wow if you don't there's some things you're going to find out about this person if you don't ask the right questions if you don't set boundaries if you don't uh, use your intuition by you know what I'm saying paying attention to the red flags this shit will come back to haunt you later whoever you are okay this person no, they're not, you know, at their best best point in life. You know what I'm saying? But they're becoming a better person. And their intention, you know what I'm saying, or what they may, may be telling you, or maybe what you want collective is, is, is for this person to love you unconditionally. But there's caution here. Okay? There's caution here. Okay? 
this could be possibly a karmic relationship you're getting into. You need to find out more information, Spirit is saying, okay? This person may be like, you know, not spending a lot of time around you because they're hiding something. So we're going to find out what this is, Holy Spirit. What else is here? Anything else? Out of this deck? Please and thank you. I'm not going to try to keep you all day because, you know, I do got a life outside of, you know, doing my uh, oracle and tarot card readings. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm a human rights policy officer. I'm also a, a, a Black Panther. Some of y'all might not like that, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm revolutionary, okay? Um, I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah. You got to wait. Pay attention to all the signs, okay? Because we're going to show them to you. But one thing you got to do is take take caution with this person. Be be very cautious with this person. Because this person, you could be setting yourself up for a heartbreak. Okay? Wow. This person could leave you as soon as they see somebody else they like. That's what I'm getting here, okay? This person, as soon as they see somebody else to catch their eye, they could be walking away from you and going towards this other person, okay? Knowing they'll mess up everything with you, okay? Yeah. And then you know that this person is leaving you behind. That's why Spirit said, pay attention to all the red flags. Find out more information about this person. Especially if you just start got with this person, start dating this person. You know what I'm saying? They need to tell you the truth about, you know, what their intentions are or whatever. Because, you know, set up some boundaries so you won't end up going down this path with this person and end up in a karmic relationship. Sure, you want this person to love you unconditionally, but is it going to be reciprocity? Is it going to be an equal give and take here? Okay, this person is becoming a better person, so this person is working on themselves, okay? This is why they, some of them probably bear their stuff and work, so you won't see all the, you know, um, what do you call those? You won't, you won't see all the, the, the little things that they need to still work on within themselves, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Hmm. I don't know what this person is deciding, but I mean, you need to find out more. I keep, yeah, you want to feel that way again. You want to feel loved again, because I feel like one time that you was in a relationship, um, where you felt unconditionally loved, and maybe you walked away from that person. You know what I'm saying? Now you realize that that person you walked away from, I don't, I don't care if it was somebody you walked away from when you was younger. You realize that this person did love you, especially with the relationships or the relationship you don't have since then with, with with somebody else. You don't feel as secure as you did. You know, you don't feel as comfortable with this person. You know, as you like to feel. It's the energy I'm getting here. So, what's the tea, Holy Spirit? What is the T on this person here? Please and thank you. What's my collective need to know? What do they need to know? Y'all gotta make this kind of, you know, I ain't moving spirit fast, but I got other things to do. Okay. Places to go. Mm -hmm. Y'all know you do too, so that's why I ain't trying to hold you my own collective. Mm -hmm. See, this is why Spirit wants you to uh, set some boundaries with this person because this person may be having a a, a, love, a romantic love affair, affair with somebody else or they may, you know, have a secret lover that you don't know nothing about. Okay, or they may just want you for a sex fix for masculine. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And they don't want you to see it. They don't want you to see that shit. Wow. They'll tell you they love you, though. But set some boundaries until this person tell you the truth or until you find out the truth. Okay, and if, if you and I'm going to tell you when you're going to find out the truth, they're going to simply tell you the truth. That's what Spirit said. Thank you. They're going to decide to, to stop being a liar because I'm getting before, you know, they was good at lying and shit, you know, <laughs> to get their way or whatever. Hmm. Or maybe they didn't need, you know, they didn't, if it was me to tell anybody the truth or whatever, you know. Somebody in their ego here, though. This person could could be very egotistical as well. Okay, all about themselves or whatever. Yeah, see, this is this is why spirit is warning you because it'll be like they'll be moving on. Okay, spirit don't want you on this trail with this person, walking down the path with this person, because this is a karmic relationship um, that you're headed into. Okay, yeah, this person needs to tell you the truth, and they're not telling the truth. Or they have a secret lover. They have a secret lover. They'll be moving on. 
with this other person. They barely suffering work yet. Yeah, forget about you. But what is they working on? Is they they working on like like physical work or are they working on this secret lover? You know, in that relationship, you know, you don't know anything about it. You know what I'm saying? You expected some unconditional love, but use your intuition. Like Spirit said, pay attention to the red flags. If you see this person make a suspect left in a relationship, shit, you, you better know then something ain't right. Okay, shit, make the shit make sense. Okay, one more spirit. One more spirit. Yeah, Spirit know that you want somebody to love you. Just know God loves you. That's what Spirit said. God loves you, and you know, you love you. And you love yourself unconditionally. And, you know, it's called the law of attraction. You know, the more you love yourself, the more you find out the time that people start loving you that much more. Okay? I mean, it's like a magnet. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are energy. Okay? I'm not using this. I'm not using this. Hmm. Anything else on here? Shit, yeah. Spirit said one well, more. Uh, I say Spirit said, I don't know, you might you might want to just cut this person off. Or really just set some boundaries with this person here. Mm hmm They may be with you for some money here. You know, if they want to be in a commitment with you for some of y'all, they just want to marry you for your money and then they're going to be gone. Oh, um, today, those secret lovers you don't know shit about, okay? Wow. By setting some boundaries, you could dodge this builder here. Okay, you could dodge this mishap that, you know, that you're about to run into, trip over, whatever. Yeah. I'm hearing you're protected, you know what I'm saying? But you got to make sure that you protect yourself. I'm here. Protect yourself at all times. Protect yourself at all times. You're trusting. You're too trusting. Whoever you are, you're too trusting. Okay. You're too trusting. Tell us about this energy spirit before I close out. I'm just going to take two out of here. Mm, I see somebody crying already. I see it too. Listen, I can't make it up. I just open this up, but these three are already flipped. Okay. You're going to be dealing with somebody. Spirit is trying to warn you about this person. Okay. Uh, that you may have got into a relationship with. This is a karmic relationship. But you need to start setting some boundaries or make this person start telling you some type of truth here. And you start, you need to start paying attention to the red flags. Listen. You need to be finding out more information about this person before you commit to this person here. Okay. Use your intuition. All right. The Spirit is saying, what you don't know about this person, this person will break the trust. Okay. This is this is past, present, and future energy. Breaking the trust by cheating on you. Okay. This person is a snake. This whole situation, this whole setup, this whole thing about I love you and, you know, um, I want to love you unconditionally, but they can't tell you the truth or whatever. Yeah, that's not what it looks like. Use caution. Spirit is saying use caution and use your intuition. This person is hiding something. They're not telling you the truth about something. Yeah. This is how you'd be left, you know, from masculine. With a lot of anxiety and worry, you know, because this person will be the moved on and you'll be wondering why. For some of y'all, they're going to come in and marry you with money and divorce you within six months. Whoa. They got some other romantic love affair going on with somebody else. Okay. Spirit don't want you to be involved with this person because this is a common relationship. Spirit don't want you all that can't sleep at night and all that stuff sitting up crying over this person and knowing this person is a snake. They're not who they say they are. That's what Spirit said. Yeah. They ain't telling you the truth about something. This person's coming up as a liar. Okay. But Spirit also said if you pay attention to the red flags and use your intuition, you will triumph over troubles and obstacles that lie ahead for you. Okay. If you don't. Trust your intuition. If you don't, you know what I'm saying? Pay attention to the red flags. If you don't get more information about this person. 
Okay? Because this person ain't in it for you to... It's not what it seems. This is what Spirit's saying. This person is not around you to, to, to see you grow or to help you grow or to help you heal from any past hurt or pain or anything like that or see anything change in a positive way for you. This is a snake that you're dealing with. You know, Spirit's just warning you that this is a karmic relationship that you're headed for or that you've recently gotten yourself in. Wow, well, see, they didn't want me to get that out. I'll be big dead in the name of the Most High God. Set some boundaries here. Okay, because this relationship ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. I know somebody didn't want to hear that, but you know, I got to tell you the truth on this channel. <laughs> if you don't want to hear the truth, then hey, click off here because that's all you're going to get here. Okay, love, light, truth. You know, uh, word from the Most High God. Not mass, but the Most High God's. Okay, so shit, don't trip on me. That's all I'm here. Some of y'all be tripping on me. Don't trip on me. You know, I'm on the right path, okay? I'm on the path of righteousness, you know, love and truth and light, all right? You know what I'm saying? I had to heal myself from some things in my life, from past relationships, you know? And I know I'm a good woman, you know what I'm saying? You know, I am the marrying kind, as they say. I'm the marrying kind, you know? I know I, I don't be like, I'm a very private person. I'll be telling my business on you know, online and stuff like that. But I have been married several times. And I, right now, today, I have several offers of people wanting to marry me. But, you know, right now, I enjoy being single. You know, I really do. Um, I do plan on having somebody, you know, one day. But I ain't in no rush, you know, because I want my soulmate to come in. Right? So, patience. I was getting patience and faith. Patience and faith. Know that it's coming. You don't have to rush into anything. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times we put faith in people and we should put our faith in the Most High. You know, the Divine. You know, the source from which our blessings flow. Okay? Things, you know, put, put your faith and trust in the Most High. Because you know what? The Most High wants you to know that He loves you and so do I. Okay? So if you're looking for love, don't look for it in the wrong places. Okay, look for it within. Okay, like I said, the more you start loving yourself, it's called the law of attraction. The more love will come to you. But you have to love yourself, respect yourself. You know, for you women out here, you don't have to show your body off to get no man's attention. I mean, that's like sort of like asking for it if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? You got your breasts on hanging out. You got your booty shorts on. You know, and see half your booty and all that kind of stuff like that. You know, men look at stuff like that. And some of them, you know, they look at you like, well, shoot, why buy the cow when the milk is free? You know what I'm saying? They know that's a free fuck right there. You know what I'm saying? So why, why would they even want to invest in you and you, you know, putting yourself out there like you free? You know what I'm saying? Shit, where's your self-value? Where's your self-worth at? That's what I want to know. And for you men out here, quit trying to stick and lick everything you see out here. Okay? Everything ain't candy. Some of that shit is nasty and y'all know it. <laughs> and y'all know it. And some of y'all just nasty and y'all don't care. Y'all need to stop and start having respect for y'all selves to not be dealing and doing stuff like that. And participating like that with, with, with these uh, feminine energies that ain't right. Okay. Yeah, y'all be falling for it and shit. And they say, you know, shit, your, 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 your penis going to sleep on you and stuff. It's, it's all, you know, like this and shit. Because it's got an attitude with you. Masculine because if you done went somewhere and ventured off somewhere, you shouldn't have went. And now you done made Mr. P sick over here. And Mr. P got an attitude with you now. Now he only want to work with you. I work for you. I mean, take that resonates. I'm just saying. And some of you ladies know y'all need to, you know, freshen it up like flowers, you know, landscape or something. You feel me? Because I've been hearing some of these men, you know, they be saying some things about women. I'll be trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, stand up for y'all because, you know, hey, I earned my name. You know what I'm saying? Out here in these streets, whatever you want to call them. I earned my name out of respect, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I knew that as a young girl. You feel me? Like, I done been through some shit in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't experience, you know, females being jealous and shit to the fact, you know, where I got stabbed the fuck up. You feel me? Like, at the age of 16, I got stabbed the fuck up. I didn't even know nothing about jealousy. And should I go to court? I don't even know this woman. She grown as fuck. She, like, tell them, like, you know, because I like to dress real sexy. You know what I'm saying? Like, but not, you know, I kept myself covered. But I like to be, you know, 
clean and cute and shit like that. But she gonna tell the judge. The judge asked her, like, do you know her? She said, no. She said, well, why you stab her like that? She said, because I was judged. I was like, ain't this a bitch? I said, this is what jealousy do? Make you hurt people you don't even know? I mean, it's crazy. Stuff like that really happens, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it happened to me. So, you know, I'm a living witness, you know. So that's not the only thing that's happened to me in my life. You know what I'm saying? Even with, you know, certain family members and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They would do stuff behind your back. You know what I'm saying? They try to sleep with your person and stuff like that. You know, it's a good thing that, you know, I had, I had, um, great husbands you know what i'm saying we, we still you know respect each other we have you know mutual feelings um for each other you know out of respect and stuff like that you know what i'm saying so yeah we didn't part ways in a nasty way you know what i'm saying it was just that, that it was just as a four season you know what i'm saying and you know we came to that mutual understanding that it was time to move on and so i said it to say this you know what i'm saying you can't make somebody be with you or you can't read nobody's mind to know if they love you or feel about you the same way you feel about them. You you can only, you know, hope and wish for the best. But, my God, just please pay attention to the red flags. If this person ain't, you know, uh, providing you with the things that you need. And I'm just, not just talking about material stuff. I'm talking about spiritual. Okay, if they're not providing you with the comfort, you know what I'm saying? Like making you you know that that love radiates because that's energy you know what i'm saying if you're not feeling that don't try to make yourself feel it that should come natural it come natural if it's not coming natural it ain't real boo feel masculine it ain't real okay shit leave your ass and, and, and feeling lonely at the end of the day if you don't pay attention to those red flags quit just wanting to be wanted by anybody to say they want you Okay. Love yourself more than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. I can step out of here. I step outside right right now in my age and turn heads. You hear me? I just be relaxed in the house. But when I step out, I turn heads. Okay, at my age. Alright, I still turn heads. Yeah, I got it like that. Because the good the good Lord blessed me like that, okay? But I'm not saying that to be um, what do you call it? I don't even know that word because I'm I'm not that type of person. Uh, what's a sedity or <laughs> whatever, something like that. But I'm not that type of person. I'm really a laid back person, you know. Uh, I'm I'm just a highly respected person, and I respect people. You know what I'm saying? I respect people. I don't judge them. You know, I don't try to put them down. If I can't, you know, lift you up in some kind of way, I'm definitely not gonna try to put you down. Okay, I'm gonna try to help you up. Okay, because I would expect you to do the same thing for me. All right. I don't want anybody to like be offended by what I said, you know, um, about covering your bodies up sometime. You know what I'm saying? Because it doesn't take that to attract a man. I mean, you can, you can attract a pervert that way. But if you're trying to attract a man, cover yourself up. You know, the element of surprise, you know, wins every time. You know what I'm saying? Like, leave them something to look forward to. If you're showing them everything, shit, they don't see it all. They don't see it all. Some of y'all need to get y'all shit in order. That's what Spirit said. Get your, get, get your shit in order. Get your life in order. You know, cover yourself up. You know what I'm saying? That man will even respect you that much more if you cover it up. If he only respects you because you have naked, then he don't respect you at all. All right. If you got to show him your ass and your tits or whatever to get his attention, he's not paying you no attention. He just want to hit it and quit it. So some of y'all need to stop that. And I'm the woman that's telling you to stop that. Okay? I got daughters. I got daughters. I got daughters that I got women out here, young women out here, younger than me. You know what I'm saying? They call me mama. You know what I'm saying? Because they respect me. You know, because I, I led them in the right direction. A lot of them got married because of the things that I told them. And they're in, you know, really beautiful relationships with beautiful husbands you know what i'm saying and they're flourishing in life you know and they enjoying life you know what i'm saying like and i want i want the same thing for y'all too but some of y'all just need to just quit you know like stop giving yourself up so easily and you men too stop falling for these women stop falling for these women that want to trap you you know what i'm saying they're simply they're out to trap you because you may have money or you know you you may be successful you know what i'm saying or you just may look good and they just want to you know put you in their roller deck so they can you know check you off on their list and say they had you too you know there's women out here to use men like that too 
So you men could be used too. And you know, I know, you know, they always say that, you know, um, when you associate domestic violence, you know, they associate, you know, like that the woman is always the one that's the victim, you know, but sometimes there's men that are victims of domestic violence too, and they don't speak up about it, you know, simply because they are men, you know, so it's a man thing, but they do go through stuff like that, you know, and you women that's doing that stuff like that, y'all need to cut it out because I'm going to tell you what God said, y'all going to meet y'all match and y'all going to get a man one day because see that man that y'all mistreating right now, y'all going to meet a man one day. And this man being good to y'all. Y'all been mistreating that man. You know what I'm saying? Being doing shit behind that man's back, laughing and joking with your friends, you know, talking about this man behind his back or whatever. But he was looking out for you. But you're gonna find somebody, or you might even be hitting on this man or doing shit to this man. This man just ain't said nothing. But you know, for real, that man, you could really do what he do something to you if he wanted to. But see, he got enough love in his heart not not to do that. Okay? But y'all need to keep your hands off these men. You know, act like y'all men want to hit, hit, hit a man. You women out here that want to hit on men. Y'all need to stop that because Spirit said, y'all going to run into a man one day and y'all going to hit the wrong one. And, and you're going to see stars. Okay? You're going to see stars and a whole lot of other dark shit. Okay? So you need to cut it out. It's not cute to be trying to fight your man out here or to fight a man out here, period. You women need to cut that stuff out. If you want to be, you know what I'm saying, you want to be a man, you know what I'm saying, but wait until you reincarnate. And when you're up there, ask God, can you be a man next time? But this is ain't your time to be a man if you want to, when I'm born a man, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you don't like what I'm saying, I keep it real in this channel. Don't, don't pop up on my channel. Okay, because I ain't, I ain't in it for the money. I ain't, I'm ain't. I'm in it to tell you the truth. Okay, if you don't like the truth and the truth hurts, oh well. So fucking put a band-aid on it or whatever. Let it sting. I don't give a shit. Alright? And I ain't worried about none of you motherfuckers neither. Trust and believe me. I ain't worried about you because spirit don't exist in my vocabulary. So if you come for me, you better come correct because I'm going to tell you, if you ever come for me, I'm going to take your breath away. I'm just that powerful. Alright? So don't come for me. Don't even think about it because I can feel some of y'all's energy right now. Like, who this bitch thinks she is? It ain't who I think I am. It's who, I, who the fuck I know I am. Okay? And you don't want to fuck with me. You don't want to come for me. Alright? So, that was meant for somebody. And whoever, whoever took it that way, it, it was meant for you. But just know whoever is trying to get you in this current relationship. They don't love you. Alright? They just love what the fuck they can get from you. All right, till next time. Keep your head up. Peace, and I'm out this motherfucker.